All right, good morning, buddy. So here we are. I'm out here at the site. So these silver things right here, these are called hardbacks. And how they attach to the wall is, so you can see. So you can see right here, that screw right there. So this whole thing is screwed all the way up on these little slots right here. It screws into the foam right here. And then these are supported by these yellow, yellow supports and they're staked into the ground. And then one goes here and then one comes in and goes right up here. So you got a double support supporting the wall. And then what you do and you can see here where you can see all the way down to the floor down there. See all the way down to the ground, all the way to the pad. These pour concrete all the way down this wall. And then on these areas where you've got, this is called a common seam. Where you have a common seam, you're going to glue this. And then you're going to put a board here so it's fully supported so it won't blow out concrete. And then you pour concrete here. There's going to be rebar above this door. So... You see the hardbacks all the way around. That's a garage door. That's a garage door. That's a garage door. There's another entry door right there. So we're going to have to build all this all the way up, all the way almost to the top of these hardbacks. And we're going to use all this foam on the interior here. We're going to start stacking all this foam today all the way around. So by hopefully by the end of the day, most of this foam will be on the wall and not on the ground. It's not doing us much good down here on the ground. And I'm on the scissor lift right now, as you can see. We've got the scissor lift and some associated tools down here. We've got our zip ties, we've got our screws, and we've got our pins, because these are pinned in. So when we put up these big supports in here, there's a pin that goes straight through that hole, through, this, through an eye on that support, and holds it up. So that way the wind and the concrete won't, won't make it want to fall down. You don't want it to, obviously, as you're pouring thousands of pounds of concrete into these forms. You don't want them to tip one way or the other. You want them to stay standing up perfect. So that's that. That's the, that's the basic operation here. All the way around. And then and you can see here, they just kind of bonk in together. There's the seams. And you can see right down the wall where it's Real straight and narrow, narrow wall. So pretty, pretty interesting building system. And it, uh, it's very strong. Once it's put up, this is what's considered a 500 year building. It'll last for 500 years. And because this area doesn't have earthquakes and it doesn't really have any kind of real natural disaster type storms, the, the building will be here for a long time. It, probably forever it'll be here because the way it's built with the rebar and the concrete and this foam it it, it lasts forever this is they once you get this foam once the wall's done you spray paint the foam to keep the sun off of it and then on the outside you can put metal on the outside of the foam and basically have what looks like a steel building but in fact, it's just steel over top of this foam over concrete. So it, it'll last and last and last. So, but that's the, that's the video. So, yeah, good stuff. And there's Mr. Tom over there. Say hi, Tom. Hello. That's Mr. Tom over there. We're getting ready to start our day of stacking and rebar and stacking and rebar and more stacking and more rebar and more supports. And it's going to be crazy. I'm going to be really, really worn out. And it's cold. I'm wearing, you see, I'm wearing this sweater. It's really cold this morning. It was in the 40s this morning. Daddy's not used to that. So, but you can see the, see the area around us. You can see the mountains, all the trees, the mountains back there, the mountains back there. All these big rocks and boulders. They had to dig out all these rocks and boulders around here. See those? That rock right there weighs that rock right there weighs as much as a car. 
and that one up there on the hill right there probably weighs as much as a truck a big semi truck that thing's huge so and over there there's a big granite top that's the actual top of the mountain right there and that thing is I don't know how thick probably to where this the level of where this garage sits versus the top of that is probably 20 feet of rock 20 feet thick of granite rock that will have to be drilled and, and blasted out with dynamite so this is a pretty crazy place to build a house and a, a garage for sure real real rugged living up here so i hope you like this video and i'll get this posted on youtube so you can watch it and i love you bye